The hot chocolate effect. Tap your spoon in the bottom of your cup while you're mixing hot chocolate and you will hear the frequency or pitch of the sound get higher. Stop stirring, but keep tapping the bottom of the cup and the frequency will drop lower. Start stirring again and the frequency will rise. Here's a demonstration of the effect using hot water that is saturated with air bubbles. The frequency of the sound resulting from tapping the bottom of a glass or cup of liquid depends on the height L of the liquid and the speed of sound in the liquid. The speed of sound depends on the elastic stiffness and the mass density. Let's start with the water and lots of trapped air bubbles. The mass density of water is almost a thousand times greater than air, so the mass density of a column of water with air bubbles comes almost entirely from the water. But the water is incompressible, while the air is easy to compress, so the elastic stiffness is due to the trapped air bubbles. As a result, the speed of sound is slower than it would be in water without bubbles, and the frequency starts out low. After the air bubbles have escaped, the mass density due to the water is pretty much unchanged. However, without the air bubbles, the water is nearly incompressible, and the stiffness is very much higher than it used to be, causing the wave speed and the frequency to be much higher than when the air bubbles were present. Here's the effect again, and I'll mention that this is not dirty water, it's just water from the hot water tap that has lots of air bubbles trapped. <laughs> 